Apparently I'm going to be knitting at least 17 more pairs of socks and probably a bunch of shawls. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and I made it to the Hobby Lobby yarn clearance sale and wow, I was ambivalent about it this year. I didn't know if I was going to get to the store during the clearance because life has been busy and the closest Hobby Lobby to my house is about 45 miles away, so it takes some aggressive stocking to time it right. And I wasn't in the mood for aggressive stocking this year. But I had some errands to run yesterday and those errands put me close to two Hobby Lobbies I've never been to before. And I was gonna have to drive past my two regular Hobby Lobbies on the way home. So I figured I'm gonna go and look and see what they've got. It's Cause you look doesn't mean you have to buy anything. I was hoping that Yarn Be Cozy Toes would mark down some of their new colors, and they did, and they're gorgeous, and I love them. But this is a store I'd never been to before, so I didn't know where to start looking. The first thing I saw on the yarn aisle were the hand dyes, and they must have just marked these down because the section was full. But I bypassed those because I was a woman on a mission looking for cozy toes. And again, because I don't know the layout of the store, the first thing that I found was Patton's Croy. Patton's Croy is a great workhorse sock yarn. If you're knitting with craft store sock yarns, this is my favorite. It's a wool nylon blend. But 75% wool, 25% nylon, super wash, 166 yards a skein. I have knitted, I don't know how many pairs of socks with this stuff. These are colors I've never seen before. This one is 50 stripes. I have no idea what the self-striping pattern is going to be. For $2.24 a skein, I don't care what the self-striping pattern is going to be. I will love it, no matter what. So I got 50 stripes and I got, these have names, mid-century stripes. I had never seen any of these. You know, I think I might have walked past them in the aisle, but I didn't look at them closely because regular price on this is like eight bucks a skein now and that's a little more than I've had kicking around in my purse this year, 70 stripes. Look at these. And this stuff knits up quickly. It is just my favorite. And we definitely have a theme going with these color names. Sidewalk chalk stripes. I love this stuff. And then this one is zebra stripes. Zebra stripes is I don't dislike it, but of the stripes I just showed you, this is the one I am least in love with. So of course it's the one where I messed up and bought four skeins instead of two. Someone's getting zebra stripe socks for Christmas apparently. Maybe they will do something fabulous when I knit it up. I don't know. I don't feel bad about it at all. And then I found the Yarn Be Cozy Toes. This is what I was on a mission for. I got some of this last year. The colors last year I did not love nearly as much as I love these. These seem more subtle. It is 93% acrylic, 7% polyester, so it's not a traditional sock yarn. I've knitted up a pair and a half with the yarn I bought last year, and it's a different experience, but I enjoy knitting with it. These color ways make really long striping patterns. If you want socks that matchy matchy, this, I couldn't do it. I can make socks that match if I want to. I could not do it with this. This one is, it has a name, Ice to Meet You. It's very pretty grays and whites. Then the next one I got is a 
Seriously, it says name slash colored. Oh, heyday. I was reading it wrong. That's on me. Look at these blue and yellow stripes. I cannot wait to play with this stuff. And I don't like that they discontinued colors, but maybe that means we'll get new colors for next year. Okay. I am confused. I am so confused. <sighs> look at these two. And look at these two. Those are the same color. They have the same name. They have the same picture. Oops. Again, I'm not going to feel bad about it. And this one is Balloon Brigade. Look at that. I, I'm excited about these. And there is a second skein, but it's buried here under my croy. I mean, if I had to duplicate on these heydays, the one I would want to duplicate on, I guess. Maybe my mom's going to start knitting socks. Maybe I should save these for her. Once I had those two in my cart, I double back to the hand dyed. I've got some of this last year or the year before. I knitted with it. It's not my favorite. The colors that I have here in my lap are much prettier than what I got last time around. Last time it had been thoroughly, I wanted to try this stuff, but it had been really picked over and there were not good color choices left. I think I hit the store right after they did the markdowns because this section of the aisle was full. This is 100% superwash merino wool, 420 yards of skein, which means you can make a pair of socks with one skein. $3.74 to knit a pair of wool socks, even if it's not my most favorite sock yarn in the world. I'm gonna, I like that idea. This one is called Spa. It's a very, there's a little bit of dark there, but it's a very subtle variegations of blue. I want to play with this something lacy. This one is authentic hand dyed blend. So it is superwash merino wool and 50% lyocell, 400 yards. The colors make me think of a campfire. I have no idea what lyocell means. My internet is out on my phone and the Wi-Fi at the house, so I can't look it up, but I'm sure I'll love it. Here is another one that is the 100% merino. The name of it is Shibori Blue. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is Authentic Hand Dyed Lux. 99% Superwash Merino, 1% Metallic Polyester. It's 420 yards. And there's just a, the tiniest hint of metallic glimmer there. It is beautiful. The color name is April Showers. So I'm thinking, yeah, that conjures up all kinds of images. This one is authentic hand dyed blue vapor. So it is the 100% superwash merino. Is That's going to be lace. It is going to be lace or cabled socks. It's going to be beautiful. This one is authentic hand dyed, dyed roasted pepita. I don't know if this is going to pool or quite what it's going to do, but those colors and that price, I will take my chances and see what it does. And then this one is authentic hand dyed ashen mist. It's blues with a little bit of green in there and some speckles of other colors. I am tickled. I was going to order some sock yarn from an online retailer that had their clearance and I had my cart full. I had decisions made and then I looked at their shipping policies and very bluntly paraphrasing, we don't control shipping. You'll get it when and if you get it. And I know that shipping right now is crazy, but if I'm going to splurge on yarn and I have the option of splurging on yarn and having the yarn in my hand, at this point in time, I'm going with yarn in my hands. Oh, and I missed one. Authentic hand dyed tonal plush blush. It's got some streaks of black. 
again, doesn't this say use me for lace or cables or something where the stitch definition will be beautiful? And the bottom of my cart was, had a layer of yarn. I walked up and down the other aisles to see, you know, maybe I could let myself buy a little more yarn. So Baby Bee Sweet Delight Prints. This is 377 yards a skein for $1.37. I don't have a baby to knit for. Knitting with prints that are going to do what they're going to do is not something I'm good at. But look at these colors. I couldn't resist. And for $1.37 a skein, I didn't try to resist. Then there was Must Be Merino. This is 50% merino, 25% acrylic, 25% nylon, 227 yards a skein for $1.74 a skein. It just feels nice. And home in hand, hindsight, I'm not sure what weight this is. Just eyeballing it, it looks fingering. A sweater out of this would be luscious. I did not even think of that in the store. I was thinking shawls because that is where my mind immediately goes. So I'm going to do shawls. It'll be fine. I will love them. Then I found Yarn B Stitch 101 50 50. The colorway here is rose. It is 180 yards of 50% acetate, 50% modal. It is so, so silky. It is so soft. I'm going to make a lace scarf. I have books full of patterns with things like that. And I don't. Oops. Love this cotton. It is the brown. It is monkey brown. Every time I see this yarn, I go, sock monkeys. And it was marked down. I swear I've seen this marked down in previous years. Am I imagining things or is that reality? I want to play with it. I'm going to knit a sock monkey something. My great grandma made sock monkeys. So I can get very, very nostalgic about those very, very fast. Yarn B Tweed Indeed. It is 180 yards. It is 46% acrylic, 46% cotton. 6% biswa and 2% polyester, and I'm reading that upside down. So if I'm making strange faces, that's why. It was $1.47 a skein. I got myself three skeins. I, I didn't have any in my stash, and I like playing with new yarns. So 44th Street Bruschetta is exactly what I told myself I was not allowed to buy. It's kind of loosely spun. It has a haze to it. It is everything I do badly with, but it is also 540 yards for $1.07. So, again, I didn't try too hard to talk myself out of it. The color is bruschetta. How good do you need to be? Oh, and must be merino gold. I love the mustardy golden colors and I got three skeins of this although I think I have a lot of mustardy gold colors from previous years but that's okay then there was soft and sleek DK low pill this stuff is 478 yards it is 100% low pill acrylic I don't know what low pill acrylic is I I know I like knitting with acrylic. This is the kind of ball you can tell it is already trying to escape right here in my hands. That is another thing from previous years that I know is not my favorite, but it was $1.24. I can knit a shawl for $1.24. I got it in two colors. I got it in something and something. Cloud and Dijon. Aren't those beautiful? I could stripe those if I wanted to. 
I told myself I wasn't going to go hit a second store, but $1.24 for a shawl in acrylic? I'm thinking prayer shawls. I'm thinking I... Ooh. The temptation to drive back to town is a little strong right now. Yarn B Pima Supreme. The colorway is Merlot. $1.49 a skein. 180 yards. Again, it, it is not quite as soft as the pink stuff I just... It is not quite as soft as the Stitch 101 50 50. But it's soft. This stuff just wants to melt into your hands. This stuff has a little more definition to it. And two or three years ago, I really desperately wanted to try these sweet minis. And they were all sold out and I didn't get any. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I got some last year and I, as much as I wanted to get them and play with them, once I got them home, I did not play with them. I don't know if you can tell her that's a white and a cream and a tan. And this one, Butterscotch Amber. They're $1.07 for 300 yards of yarn. Again, I did not try to talk myself out of these. If something happens and I decide not to knit with all these yarns, I'm reasonably sure I'll be able to foist them off on somebody else. I have no immediate plans of foisting them off on somebody else with the way the prices of everything is going up and the fact that I'm spending a lot more time home and a lot less time going out into the world because I have always bundled my errands. But bundling, eliminating... When life gets stressful, I knit, and boy, I have got a lot to knit with. Did you get any of these yarns? If you did, leave a comment below and tell me what you have planned with them, especially if it's something that's not as super obvious as a pair of socks, especially if it's something with a zebra stripe. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. I've got a lot of skeins to wind into balls, and I've got a video on that. If you bought this particular yarn, I'll put a link in the description box. I will be doing upcoming videos on the unfamiliar yarns as I knit with them. I have one for the hand dyed. I have one for the cozy toes that I did last year. I don't have one for Croy just because I assumed that everybody knew what Croy was like, but maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm itching to cast on with this stuff. Thanks for watching. I will be back with you with more videos soon. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and I've got some knitting to do. I'm making shawls and scarves. No, I'm making shawls and socks. I don't know what I'm making. <laughs>